And we are going to listen in live as we hear an update on this situation out of Atlanta. All right, I want to thank the Atlanta Police Department and the officers of our agency and all of the partners that uh, made quick action today, uh, did quick work to apprehend the suspect from the Midtown shooting that occurred today. Uh, what we saw today was strong, very strong coordination and professionalism across multiple law enforcement agencies. We also received vital trust and vital support and information from the public. Uh, they aided APD in this search to bring it uh, down quickly. We were able to quickly shift a very large contingency of resources across the entire city and including the world's busiest airport, Hartsville Jackson Atlanta International Airport, in order to apprehend the suspect today. I want to state clearly that the security of the airport was never compromised at this time. Uh, the suspect was apprehended uh, prior to being in any controlled areas of the airport. So I repeat, uh, the airport was safe and secure in those areas because the individual never made it into the controlled areas of the airport. APD trains regularly, and we'll hear about that. APD trains regularly for these types of incidents. Um, we appreciate the assistance from our local public safety partners, including uh, Atlanta Fire Rescue Department, Fulton County, ATF, Georgia State University, and the Georgia Tech Police, as well as Grady, and all of our law enforcement officers of APD that are at Hartsville Jackson Atlanta International Airport. We were able to uh, we were able to utilize our camera network, which is vast, and that was able to help us quickly track down the suspect. On behalf of the citizens of Atlanta, I offer my condolences to the families that are affected, um, that are the family members of the victims uh, from this incident. I also want to make sure that Midtown, that all of Atlanta, and everyone at our airport know that you are safe at this time. Uh, the suspect has been apprehended, and all is back to normal. Now I'm going to hand it over to our interim police chief, uh, Darren Sheerbaum, to give you more details about this incident. Chief. Thank you, Mayor. Good afternoon, everyone. Just to give you some facts on the what transpired here in Midtown today, knowing that we can't answer every question, uh, but everything that we do know now that we can share, we'll be doing so. Uh, this afternoon at approximately 1.46 uh, p.m., we were dispatched to 1280 West Peachtree Street. We had uh, 911 calls of shots fired and an individual that had been shot at that location. Our officers arrive and find two individuals that had been shot. A short time later at 2 p.m., we received a call from 1100 Peachtree Street of an individual that had been shot at that location. The lookout for both of the uh, shooters, we found out quickly, was the same person. It was a female matching the same description uh, that was seen in this area. That triggered an immediate response from this department as it was indicative of a possible active shooter situation. So our active shooter protocol was initiated. That's why you saw police resources from across the city and from various units descending on this location. It also triggered a response from our partners who we train with regularly just for these type of scenarios. That's why you saw the Fulton County Sheriff, Marshall's Department, Marta Police Department, Georgia Tech, and Georgia State University, who trains with us regularly descending here. A number of citizens provided helpful information that said the shooter had entered onto the Colony Square campus. And that allowed us to utilize the cameras that the mayor referred to and other resources of the department. Now we were receiving various tips uh, that gave a possible scenarios that could be unfolding, that the shooter could still be in the area or the shooter could have left the area. And that's why you saw a citywide search transpire. And we kept resources in the area. We also triggered the shelter in place alert, which we appreciate everyone cooperating with during the search. Our search did lead us to the airport uh, where we had information. That's where the shooter had, had transported themselves to. We deployed resources there, both city resources as well as our federal partners. And a short time later, at around 4 o'clock this afternoon, we were able to take into custody of the individual we believe shot individuals at both on West Peace Street as well as Peace Street Street. We believe we have recovered the firearm, and that individual is in the custody of the Atlanta Police Department, and the investigation continues. I can say at this time, by the information that's currently available to us now, we do not believe these were random acts of violence. We do believe that individuals were likely targeted. Uh, that were harmed today. And as the mayor stated, the condolences of the Atlanta Police Department goes out to the impacted families uh, here today. 
this is my neighborhood. This is the neighborhood I live in. I know this to be a safe neighborhood, and I agree with my neighbors today of what has transpired here. Uh, but I am so proud of the men and women of this police department that responded immediately, not knowing what was transpiring, put themselves in, in, in danger to ensure that we apprehended this person quickly before they could harm again. And we're so appreciative of our partners, everyone that wears the badge and has taken an oath of service. You saw them in action today in Midtown, and that is service we deliver across every neighborhood of our city. And I, have, I can answer a couple questions. There's not much more than we can honestly share, as this is a very active investigation. And as we get more information, our public affairs uh, unit will be updating you. We're going to be confirming that at the appropriate time. That is obviously a focus of our investigation right now. Have your officers experienced this woman before in a previous incident yesterday or any time this week? That is part of the review. Anytime we have an incident like this, we'll be reviewing to see if there's interaction with this police department. We'll make sure we look release that as well. Can we get age and gender to some of the victims, um, you know, with middle age, younger, um, genders? All right, we'll be providing that shortly. Obviously, we're working with the medical examiner's office. And I also want to note the, the, the response of Atlanta Fire Rescue. You'll notice Atlanta Fire Rescue went into a situation where we still had an active shooter on the loose. You saw those men and women themselves don the proper protective equipment. And I want to commend the members of the Fire and Rescue Department for also putting themselves in harm's way to ensure that everyone was safely and quickly moved to medical care. Can you tell us about that? I'm sorry? Can you tell us about the gun that was used? We believe it was a handgun that used was used. We do have that weapon. And again, we'll release that when we have more information. I believe it was recovered at the airport, ma'am. What details of how she got to the airport? Was she arrested before or after security? Please give us details of the arrest out there. That information will be forthcoming. Uh, obviously, we do know how she arrived at the airport. And to commending the resources that were at the airport that quickly was able, that's a very large airport. And for this, this agency with our federal partners as well as the staff of the airport to quickly locate her in that crowd and take her into custody quickly speaks to the systems that we have in place daily at that facility. It was before it was before check uh, security checkpoint though. To answer right. before. Veronica's last question. Thank you. Yeah. Please go into uh, the, the integration of the network and the, the camera network and how that we've heard you guys talk about that a lot in recent months and I think it was seems like a Absolutely. This is a vibrant neighborhood. Uh, it's easy to move from building to building and that have the ability to quickly get access to cameras is why we ask for individuals to integrate their cameras. In this case, we had some integrated cameras, but we also had security offices that were immediately opened to investigators of this department. And throughout numbers of buildings around here, we were viewing cameras to get a clear picture of what occurred and where the shooter uh, had went to. I do want to thank, before I leave, uh, church behind us, uh, Free Chapel, who when they saw what was occurring in their neighborhood quickly opened the doors for us and ensured we had a safe, uh, a secure point for our command center uh, while it was raining. And this shows the great character of Midtown and we want to thank the church for their partnership. You were just listening into this press conference out there of Atlanta as uh, we continue to follow this situation. We're also getting video uh, of the uh, arrest at the airport there in Atlanta of this suspect. As you heard uh, police talk about this uh, suspect they arrested, they, they said they likely found the uh, firearm and just a handgun at the airport. And also uh, this shooting might have been targeted. Uh, we will continue to follow this story on live now from Fox. But uh, three people were shot in Midtown Atlanta just uh, about three and a half, four hours ago uh, now here uh, as we continue to follow the story. Two people have died in this situation, but uh, police are very grateful for uh, all the help and a uh, very busy area of Atlanta uh, on a very busy Monday afternoon. Um, but it was uh, it didn't seem to be a random. It seemed to be targeted. And we will continue to follow this on live now from Fox.